What's up guys? This is the Broverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we have driven through Spain and we are attacking the city of Lisbon. I'm hoping in due course to attack Morocco. But nevertheless, let us attack the garrison here at Lisbon. And there's nothing really here to worry about. A large portion of their troops are garrison troops, which are auto-generated. And they've got a good number of their own troops are actually quite heavily depleted. So I think we should be... It should be a, a fairly simple matter to uh, to wipe the Spanish army off of the map. And I'm hoping I can use my or one of my navies to clear out the Strait of Gibraltar and allow my Gibraltar force to cross the strait. Okay, so my gunners up on this high ground here and rain fire down upon them. I want to create one formation to go around the left. One formation to go down the right. Send a couple of heavies to go through the town. Mass my Jaegers together on the right flank. Split up my cavalry. Make sure my uh, ranged cavalry is fire will off. No, not there. Come on. Advance towards the enemy. There's the enemy mortars. Oops. Don't that show up. There we go. You men push over. You men. Look at that wide on the flank. I'm not so bothered about that cavalry there. There we go. Form square. We're going to interdict colonial light cavalry here. Yeah. Push my line up fast. Frycorp. Yeah, Frycorp cavalry. Get back here to face down the mortars. Yeah, just hold square, you'll be right. Push out my cavalry. These two units. Leipgarde Trabarton. Form up. Yeah, you will also fire into that unit there. We could take a few more ca casualties then. We may like. Come on, you men. Why aren't you forming up and doing stuff? You're going to suck up a volley from the enemy. And then you men push into the rear of the armed citizenry. Beating the colonial light -like cavalry there. Make sure we kill a few more of them. There go the enemy mortars. Keep my Jaeger pushing up. Push my troops into the town. Chevaux Leger. Stay away from the Grenadiers. Okay, 
marines. Cut line. Okay, keep everyone moving. sure what's wrong with you guys. I don't see anyone stuck. Form square from the Curacier. My marines hit that militia unit. My engineers form up in the street. New men mow down the Amazons. Get my cavalry to push around. New men charge the militia in the rear. My marines are going to cleave their way through this militia. Pushing through the town. Now you're going to help clear out the 6th Regiment. We gunned down the last of the Amazons as they were fleeing. Jaegers are engaging the 1st Regiment. When the 6th Regiment go down... New men cease fire. You engage the light horse. There we go. Pivot this infantry unit to face off against the first. Pushing through the town. Guards cover the second approach. You may halt fire. My marines have busted through the 5th regiment. So form, form up here and engage the Firelock Arm citizenry. Advance. Oh, maybe don't go too mad. Just out of range of that infantry. Engage the citizenry. You should win against the Grenadiers, there's not that many of them. Continue the push. Get my Freikor cavalry to engage. This unit of mercenaries, my Jaeger. Advance. And my general is going to hold ground behind the line. You men try push around the combat.
you don't need to get involved. Keep pushing, you might also engage. Hit the Spanish in the rear. You guys are all going to charge through this combat, eh? Leave my dragoons to hit the, hit the rear of this enemy block. Keep engaging. Philocom citizenry and Western European mercenaries don't think they're going to stand much of a chance. There go the mercenaries, and it's the Firelock Arm citizens' time to go. The Marine just kill the man. There we go. Let's go to cavalry unit around to attack the Grenadiers. Because they are the last unit alive, my artillery's not done a super good job. Go on, cavalrymen. My Sars. Keep attacking them, they're charging through you. You might gain some experience. But there we go. Awesome. So that's Lisbon secured. Spanish dogs have been wiped from the streets. So they really don't like us. Let's get rid of the University of Devora. That will fix the problem. Because they go from minus 14 once they get rid of the minus 16. They really won't mind the fact that we're here. Um, so, the main problem is this Ottoman fleet here, but if I take my pretty kick-ass navy up here, sell them around and hit this Spanish fleet, make sure I'm bringing all of them, I am. Oh, I can't hit that Spanish fleet. That's a weird one. Must be the pirates. This is a very recent bug, if it is a bug. Let's go after this small sp small Ottoman fleet, because if you wipe them out... Oh, actually, well... That Spanish army, that Spanish navy might just keep causing problems, but I'm hoping if I can part this fleet on the straight, maybe that might counter what, they attempt, what they're attempting to do. Get all my seconds up front, backed up by my thirds with my fourths behind them. Okay, cool. So this is going to take a bit of time. We've got a second rate, selection of fourths, and a fifth. So we should be okay. Let's head towards them, actually. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when when we're closer. So see you in a second, everyone. And here we go. My fleet has taken an absolute hammering. My first ship has taken an absolute hammering from this one second rate. Getting into position. Keep everyone sailing over. This chap's on fire, so I've had to... So I've had to uh, cease fire at will. I mean, he's probably going to go down. Everyone else. I've got a third rate over here who's... Well, they got left behind. But look how much damage they've done to my... Second rate, just from one ship. Look how badly my guy's damaged. No, I better just better keep focusing on their ship. Just coming around again. Yeah, this ship's gonna go down for darn sure. He's very peaky.
So now let's bring ships into action one at a time. Oh, to me, this third rate is going to be... It's going to be gone. They can't fight against those number of ships on their own. Okay, I need to keep my ships moving more like that. Do as much damage as you can. Because, like, remember, like, look how much damage my wild. What's happened to Wildschwan compared to the enemy fleet? Like, look, look, look at this guy. This guy's barely got any damage, and my guy's about to sink. Shaken, understandably. They've only lost three guns on this side, and they're about to rout. <laughs> Naval warfare in this game, hard difficulty, so damn. Okay, let's go follow the weather gauge. Ooh, you're in back in. Ah. Oh. They give me just enough. They give me just enough time to make me think, ooh, I've got a chance. No, wrong. These enemy fourth rates have been kind of picked apart. Actually, maybe something even more like that, although you're going to want to Pivot, fire the wind. Pivot, try and engage Syed Reis. Yeah, come over here and try and meet with Orion. Plan. Everyone's currently sailing not at full, full mast, and that's what I don't want. Fire broadside right, and then you may as well let them fire at will when they're at long range. Even though their fire at will seems to be able to do a lot more damage than what my ships can do. Even with such such tiny numbers, they seem like they can do so much more damage than my ships can do. Down here at speed. Actually, you may as well withdraw. You're done for. If you don't rout, you're going to die. If you guys could try and no, that take forever. Let's try and close the distance. Cause they're snaking around like an absolute mother. Yeah, you've surrendered. That's not a complete surprise, is it? Try turn you men to try and keep engaging. 
some of these ships. Their second rate's blocked from fire. They've done a bit of friendly fire damage against Hassan Uj. Yeah, you chaps just park up and start shooting. Well, this second rate, second rate is pretty depleted. I could do with just, just, I could do with just taking out one of their ships, just properly taking out one of their ships. You men get into position. You're going to fire chain shot into this fourth rate. Let's try to actually take out some specific ships, because this would be a lovely chain shot. Chain shot, fix them with Orion. Ah, they're going to haul their sails about. <laughs> Four masters gone. Rear masters gone here. You chaps also fire chain to dismount or to dismast that ship. Chaps are also going to fire chain to try dismast second rate. Such little damage. To be honest, let's just keep blasting your sails. Let's try to get rid of more of your masts. You men. No, don't pivot, that's not quite what I want. Quite congested up front. Try dismast Delhi Ali, then that'll be something. Your, oh, oh, you're not actually surrendered, you're still routing. Four mass shot away here. One last broadside. Chain shot here as well. I mean, let's try and actually try to actually take out a ship because they're surrendering. They've been upset for an awful long time. Should be pouring broadsides in with you guys now, really. Shot away the rear mast on the second rate. Uh, 
this is fine mostly. Okay, you should pre a your finally surrendered. Pivot and see if I can just try and clip the sails before my ship there gets in the way. You two fire round shot into the deck of the Caragrius. Drop anchor, stop that fifth rate from moving. There we go. Sail on through the engagement here. All of you chaps sail ahead. Fourth rate routing. Caragris is also upset at what has transpired. Fourteen guns on Hagen's broadside. Not very many. Keep sailing. My hope is you absorb some of the gunfire, considering you're a bit battered. Uh, fire chain shot. See if you can make out, take out our last mast. Nope, she surrendered too. Good. When I have overwhelming superiority, I'm quite capable. <laughs> nice close victory. It was a bit weird, but it just goes to show how much damage the AI ships can do on hard mode. Okay, you probably want them all. So if that ship, if that army, that fleet is bugged, sorry, we can march straight across and attack Morocco. So we can march across and let's attack the Tangier garrison, which will remove Spain from our back for good. I probably want to have a garrison force in the peninsula somewhere, and I can recruit a fairly boring army to do that job. But let's attack this last holdout, and then that will be Spain removed from the equation. Good, good, good. Guns deploy behind the line and just open fire. Howitzers have a great time firing quicklime. Battle line out in the open ground. My elites can go in amongst the town in case we have to bayonet charge our way through. And all my cavalry is going to rain free on the right flank. See, why do they do that? Come on, all right. Probably a bit of a waste for my... All oh, my howitzers to be attacking them too. Just retarget my artillery and so on. Where's my... My elite infantry, you're gonna bust through the town. We're going to be able to envelop their left flank. Let's just allow my artillery to do their glorious work. If you get hit, you might, your entire unit may die.
mostly. Yeah, it's just a garrison army. They got some infantry. Ooh, okay. Quick climb coming in. Oh, no, some coming back here. Ooh, good hit. 113 militiamen have fallen. Oh, this infantry has got hit by quick climb as well. 84 men left. Poetry. Pure poetry. Colonial infantry. Charging us. Eh, yeah, just shoot them. Well, you, yeah, you can start to engage. The enemy positions here. Just push everyone up. There we go. You don't need to worry about killing everyone. Redirect my quick loan fire. One of them definitely wants to hit this. Ah, oh, too late. We've already fired. And there's a couple of misfires. Ah, oh, you militia have charged my... Militia, how bold, hit my grenadiers. Well, they're going to go straight through into the enemy guns. If they're still here, that is. Go on, grenadiers. Oh, good hits. 120-ish casualties. Oh, they didn't even get to fire their volley. Actually, we are going to do some pursuits here. Ceasefire. The guns. I mean, there's just too many casualties. To not pursue the enemy. Even get my general involved. You men, ceasefire. Off. You go after the militia. Damn right, we're going to continue. We don't have to, but there's so many men here I can get some good experience. It's not that you need to kill them. Like, like, for example, this Hohenzollern Kyosia unit currently has zero experience. I'm hoping... There we go. They've got their first experience level. Don't need to worry about killing things, but... Why the hell not? Yeah, a lot of these units will escape because they routed funny. There we go. Yeah, this is, just, this is chiefly just to try and get kills for my units. Yeah, when they spread out effectively, they do... Well, lots of these units will escape, but it doesn't matter because it's a city battle, so the units will be removed from the map, and to be honest, the entire Spanish Empire will be gone as well. At least I believe so. Fairly sure there's no one left. Okay, now it's everyone against the 8th Regiment of Foot Garrison Colonial Line. Sixteen men remaining. Eleven. Four. Two. Zero. <laughs> Excellent. So that is Morocco secured. Spain is gone. You don't have any... You, you do have a school down here. Minus 24. Again, we can't help because all of our... Actually, we can rebuild the school of poetry. Get rid of the university. That gets us down to minus 9. 
we're probably going to have a rebellion. I'll build a church school here to help convert the locals. But this has gone pretty well. You make your way over to Cartagena. I mean, we need to spend a bunch of money here in Spain. You're going to keep sieging the pirates. Just for now, just for this turn. Because what I want to see is... I want to do some spending in Spain to secure my holdings and then uh, attack the pirates. I'm looking forward to pushing across North Africa and opening up a new front against the Ottomans in Cairo. We aren't at war with the Barbary pirates, but we may as well. The Barbary states, but we may as well clear them out as we cross. And it'll open up a new front against the enemy. See, they're massing for the fight they know is going to come. But we have quicklime now, fellows. It looks like... Oh, no, no. Okay. No, their, their turn is progressing still. Ah, but yeah, so we've got three armies in Spain. One of them may go for Iceland, just to clean it up and secure it. Although, to be honest, if I, leave, if I let the Mughals have Iceland, they might resist the temptation to invade me elsewhere. But I'll fortify the front near Austria. I mean, to, well, to be honest, those garrisons are still quite strong, even Hungary, which is a bit more vulnerable. But yeah, spend in Spain, rebuild the ports, do everything we need to do. Gain control over the Iberian Peninsula. And we'll be on to a winner. Zagreb's going to be under threat from my Venice force in the west. There we go. Russia's finally declared on us, as we were expecting them to. Very well. Go on, Sweden. Go fight Russia for us. Be a darling. Yeah, Florida's fallen to the pirates. But we're not ever so worried about the Americas just yet. Yeah, ra raid as much as you like. 29,000 a turn. So you've just researched carronades. I know we haven't researched. Improved grain shot, grape shot on the way to carronades. Is my... No, you're okay for now. Port located Kingston. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I know not the Americas and Europe. So. Let's repair everything. Punish our armies and probably exempt them from tax. Although it won't make any difference. We're gonna, we are going to see some rebellions. Not interested in two two military ports. We don't need a seminary in Spain. Religious happiness does is helping us now, but we'll still be positive and as resistance to foreign occupation goes down. Let's repair our industrial buildings. Let's repair this. Let's upgrade you to a trading port. Let's recruit a sloop here plus. A militia unit in... Oh, if I can recruit a militia unit. Hmm. That's frustrating. Very well. I'll just keep recruit a sloop down here as well. We can repair the mighty city of Lisbon. And get Mr. Lightner replenished. Yeah, the commercial port, build a sloop to occupy it, Franz Lauter. Yeah, you might actually... Uh, no, actually you're going to commit to f pushing. So you're also going to join forces here at Cartagena, because we're going to want to hit Algiers and Tunis at once. And we've run out of money. This is an expensive ordeal. Build a craft workshops in Madrid, like they can just about handle it. Yeah, let's try and make 
Madrid pop. Oh, we've also got Bilbao, which we can repair. Good. And then, well, my weaker fleet sail up to towards Brest, but not in Brest. Because you're a good trade fleet. But where to put to? Really, I've built a trade fleet, but I want to send a proper navy out there to clear clear the region out. So you men combine for now. Can't repair or do anything. You can take a sloop from Bristol. Garrison Bilbao. My fleet is here to hold... Actually, you can go into Sandy Bay. There we go. So now we control the strait. Lots of good construction done. Trade agreement cancelled with Russia. Come on, Quebec. Fine. But yeah, we're starting to run out of trade partners. And this is why it's important to get your tax income up so darn high. But yeah, one more turn until we get that free, free trade doctrine. Yeah, that's going to be pretty awesome. Let alone when I start to be able to build... What commercial basins where are they? Do I not have... I oh know I haven't got any. I need free trade, I think, to do that. Yeah. Global trading companies. I got a lot of ports. Okay. A lot of troops. Yep. You'd probably be okay. Well, you will be okay. You're at full strength, but you're near the city. Now nah, we're good. Oh, I just forgot to attack the darn pirate territory. Oh well, not a massive priority for now compared to solidifying my hold in Iberia. So we can open up a new front against the Ottomans. Well, I'm probably going to want to make sure the new armies I'm raising are up to strength. Don't want to intercept. The answer is probably. See, that's not a bad force. Most of these, most of their army is cavalry, which we don't have to worry about. Go on then. Let's intercept. We do have reinforcements that are coming in uh, to help us out, which we will march them towards the city. We've got a howitzer, which will be good. They've got one howitzer, so they may eventually make a breach, but it will take a bit of time. But yeah, this will be quite a good opportunity to send the Ottomans scuttling back. Oh, it's going to be quite critical. My general stay back here for now. She put my militia on top of the gates because they normally just attack these sections of wall. Here. So then the rem rest of you for my reserve. So I want to go off there. Janissary Grenadiers. Try walk my guns in. Let's run some garrison guards in. Where are they going for? this section of the wall. See, those guns will be handy, but I don't think they'll get into the fortress before we 
have the opportunity to take them out. We've got so much cavalry. The Jayashi Musketeers, Nizam Infantry, Sipahi, Azar. Got a good mix of troops, that's for sure. And we will make them pay dearly for their decision to attack us. Let's put a unit of infantry up here and here. Reasonable hit. Quick climb, try hit the Bashi Bazooks. These Azars have taken a bit of a hit. They've broken. The militia can cover the rear. trying a hell of a push send all my current troops to garrison the walls pushed back the unit of Semini pushed back that unit of Semini good let's get my troops up on the garrison get my Troops up and ready. They've retreated out of quick climb range. My militia should be enough to push back these Janissary Grenadiers because they're already upset. There we go. Keep on attacking them. But yeah, there we go. We've got one unit on the wall, and suddenly everyone's started. Everyone's like rejigged their position to fire at troops on the wall. Quick climb, start to hit some of their cavalry. Fire will off, fire will on. Man your positions on the guns. Nope, don't push. They can try climb up the wall if they like, they're only skirmish troops. I wouldn't mind if they made a breach, to be honest, because for later actions that would make it a lot less complicated. There we go, so you chew up that as our unit. Guns are on their way. Reinforcements pouring into the city. It's unfortunate that they're, uh, these Azars have attacked. Because you guys would have been doing a real number against all this cavalry that's running around outside our wall. So if you guys fire well off and then on again. I want you to be firing your cannons because you'd be doing a great job. There we go. Fire will off. Excellent, they've only got one proper infantry unit left. And the rest of it is cavalry, which won't be able to do 
diddly squat, I might actually switch my howitzers to round shot. Try and do a bit of counter battery against their 24 pounders. Because if we can... Ooh, were they wa Ooh, they were wavering. But if we can knock out their artillery crew... Hello. There's a unit of Nizam infantry to the rear. It looks like they must, they, they must be trying to stop the units from routing, I guess. Not that it's going to help. There you go. So my my gates are my uh, my fort fort gates are open. I wonder that's why they're running around. Oh, what happened there? Oh no, that must have, that must have been Semini or something trying to push around the flank. There we go. The gates are closed. They've about faced. Any artillery is routed. Go after that unit of Sipahi. Although, to be honest, just go after the Janissary Musketeers because when there's just cavalry left, the battle's over. Because they have no way in. Firing at range. Oh no, the gunners are coming back. But they have no guns. Go after this Semini unit. It might be a bit close but it's quite well positioned. They're going to fire that way. Yep, close but well positioned. Ah, just a bit long. But now they've routed, they should. Unless the, the artillery crew, they count that as infantry. Which it appears they might do, because you're all cavalry. Oh, you have reinforcements coming in. I see. Let's well, speed up time then while the reinforcements come in. Oh god, that would have been that's a good hit. I'm starting to see a different section of the wall be knocked down from this 18 pounder it's not a massive problem to be honest I want well I really I do want them to knock a hole in the wall I should have left their left their other artillery alone to let them do it but it looks like they've only got three oh no sorry here they come they've got so much cavalry it's really starting to limit how much infantry they could have brought onto the field Hit the Janissary Grenadiers. Actually, Riskers of Souls. Low defence, but really high morale. They will fight to the last man. Oh, we missed the, the Riskers of Souls, but hit the Azar behind them. Still in quite good strength. Good hits. Routing, routing. Okay, let's re target the artillery just to attack on the enemy's axis of advance. Risks of souls are dangerous. Risks of souls are very dangerous. Yeah, the defense is low, but they've got a lot of awful lot of morale.
they'll probably beat my line infantry unit one on one. The 87th Regiment, you're just going to stay there to act as bait. My only real hope is their low defence. Attack the Bashi Bazooks. Chancery Musketeers have gone all the way back. I mean, when this cavalry comes in, it's going to be awesome just to watch them all fall. Send my militia in to help out. And then bring up a garrison guard unit. It's a bit of a reserve. Now it's Stemini coming up. Yeah, they're down to half their numbers. Starting to go down. Actually, Bazooks have lost a good number of troops. I Men should start to charge, right? There we go. Risks of souls are done. Foot infantry take position at the edge of the line. My militia will be the main fighting force. And let's speed up time again. Lots of withdrawals. You might hit the Semini because the Bashi Bazooks have been wiped out. Cease fire, fire it well again. Hopefully you open fire on the Semini, which you have. These corner positions never seem to get positioned. I was about to say they never seem to get garrisoned well, but there we go. Okay, yeah, they're changing their mind on what it is they want to attack. So. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to chop recording and bring you guys back when something happens. So see you in a second, everyone. Well, they sat in the corner of the map for an awful long time <laughs> and then they finally pushed up their infantry contingent to attack because they seemed to accept that I wasn't going to sally. There we go. So focus on the Janissary Musketeers. That Janissary Musketeer unit is pretty knackered. This one's at full strength so it would be useful to knock them down a bit. Their artillery stopped firing because they've surrounded it with so much cavalry. Oh no, it started up again. Okay, previously it had stopped firing. But we've not got that long to go. And we have intercepted them, so they are the attackers and we are the defenders. Okay, switched to round shot because we're now too close for quick climb. Broken. Let's get my garrison guards up on the wall. They can engage this Janissary Grenadier. Present. Well, you're going to fire. Nice. But yeah, it, it's not going to change the price of fish. Their artillery started firing up again, but it's it's too late. They might make their way in, but it looks like they're actually hitting this corner piece, which I don't really mind. Yeah. 
Ooh, good hit. Yep, you're down too. So let's speed up time. Yep, they're all retreating. Yeah, their only hope is that gun crew. Because none of these guys can do anything to help. What I'm probably going to do, based on how long we've got till the game is over, is probably just chop the recording and bring you guys back at the end. So, see you in a second, everyone. And here comes the clock. Hurrah! So, yeah, we've managed to hold off the Ottomans quite nicely there. Oh, quite a handy exchange ratio as well. Back you go. Let's see if Russia elects to move on us. Yet. Oh, to be honest, I'm supposed to be honest, I've got three armies in Spain. One army's going to stay. Two armies are going to push. One's going to push through North Africa. Then one... Well, no, they should probably just both leapfrog through North Africa. That way they'll make it to Cairo the quickest. The quickest with the most with them with the most stable front line. If I just sail them over and drop them off the coast, then it might get a, might get a bit messy. But I'm going to want to check my armies at the front to make sure that they are at max recruit at the max uh, army capacity levels. Because right now I can see this guy's got a bit of space, especially because when. When Russia elects to make their move, they aren't messing about. But I need to build up a Baltic fleet. Because right now, I've... Oh, the pirates might sally this turn, actually. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm going to need a Baltic fleet just to make sure the Russians don't sail around our front line and try and outflank us by sea. Hmm, so long, Louisiana and ship. There they go. Yeah, the pirates are going to sally, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for <laughs> a, a battle against a bunch of pirate scum. Cheers, everyone.